Hey, Kevin, the chassis is black. What did you think? Did it turn out okay? It came out really good. Uh, this is the 65 Chevelle chassis that we had uh, media blasted and, and stripped clean. And this time we did something different. This is new. This is um, an Eastwood product called Extreme Chassis Black. And this is their satin finish. And this is an epoxy, but it's pre-mixed and it doesn't require a catalyst. So you can spray it right out of the can. And um, they recommend a primer, but you can shoot it over bare steel. And uh, I shot this yesterday and it came out pretty cool. I think it's got, if you can see, it's got like an ideal factory sheen to it. I mean, this is, this is right on as far as the look. And it's been kind of interesting. There's been a lot of uh, curiosity about different types of, of chassis um, coatings. And it's kind of funny because it's something that you never really see once the car's back together. But I think the people who do look, you know, the, you, you want it to look good for the people who know and the people that are, that are gonna look. And this stuff seems to look really good. Um, when I sprayed it yesterday, I was a little concerned because the first coat, I did two coats, and the first one I shot very light because I was worried, this is very thin coming out of the can, and I didn't want it to drip. Uh, it was also a little bit cool. So the, um, the first coat didn't look like this, didn't look this nice. The second coat, I went back and laid it on pretty thick and um, just used a cheap, you know, old school, non-HVLP, you know, basically an old prime gun, uh, about 40 PSI and uh, blew it on pretty heavy. And then it ended up curing just like this. This is set overnight at 70 degrees and it's real hard and it's got the right look and it's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's something anybody could do. Uh, you're gonna wanna have the right protection. It takes a while to dry and it gets sticky. So as you paint this stuff, you might want to get a disposable paint suit because it's going to be all over everything. You can see the floor is all black with footprints in it and hand prints. The hand prints are from me crawling on the ground <laughs> trying to get the bottom side of this thing. But uh, overall, yes, we tried it, we liked it. And, it. and like I said, it's very, we haven't dropped anything on it yet, but they advertise that it's got, you know, increased chip resistance and brake fluid and solvent resistance. So that's everything you could want in a chassis. So we painted this and the rear axle housing in this stuff. How many quarts did you use? That's a good question. I think all told, I think this is our fourth quart. We got four and this is unopened. So three quarts got me a, a rear axle and a chassis. Now that's two coats on each? Two coats on the chassis, one heavier coat on the rear axle. I think it could have balanced out to cover all of it though. So. No Any real... tips for spraying a chassis? Yeah, it's not easy. You go, hey, look, easy. But inside these little holes and in the corners, the corners suck because as you blow air into it, it swirls around and blows right back out at you. And uh, in fact, you know, I'll give it up. I, I, I kind of screwed up right here. You can come take a look. This is what you want to avoid, right? You see how this is kind of glossy over here? Yes. And this isn't? Uh, okay. Yes. We'll do the li listen. It looks a little rough. Here, listen. Ready? Yeah, that's scratchy. Okay. That's scratchy because of that turbulence. Ah. And this ended up spraying on much drier than this. This was nice and wet up here. Down in this area, it starts to get a little dry. And then it powders up and it ends up getting dusty and it doesn't look so good. So we're going to try and repair that. We'll come back and and touch in a few of these other little spots to, to fix it. But that's something you want to watch out for. Okay. Um, but there you go. So the 65 is coming along. And uh, there's another new Eastwood chassis coating we're going to try on the 66 GTO. And that's a ceramic catalyzed um, chassis paint. So that's super top secret. But we'll show you that one later. But right now we're happy with this.